I suppose it's been a while, but welcome to an episode of Barman Saturdays. And this week I decided to take a look at Dragons, Fire and Ice, a 2004 CGI film based on a toy line from Megablocks. Which honestly sounds like a really, really bad combination. But before we get into that, I think we should talk about the most interesting aspect about this disc. It actually comes with a video game on it. I'm not kidding, there's actually a video game on this you can actually install. Now, if it'll actually work on a modern computer, I can't tell you. Um, because this is a game, you know, that's pretty old at this point, and some of those old games just don't like new operating systems. So, I guess if you want to, if you had a copy of this, you could try and play it on a modern computer, or you can bug me to try it, I guess. If someone asks, I'd probably be willing to tr take a crack at it. Ugh. As far as the movie itself goes, well... It's very average and forgettable. Um, it's not bad, you know. It'll keep your interest somewhat for about the hour and change it runs, but you're going to have a hard time remembering the names of the characters when it's all said and done. I suppose it doesn't help that some of them are a bit, you know, out there, like the wizard's name is, um... Is that not right, Xenos? Oh, absolutely. I forgot his name already, okay? He's just not very memorable as a wizard, okay? Like, like, look at the wizard that can summon ice dragons, and like, oh, oh, pff, pity you. I mean, seriously, I can summon an Armageddon spell in some other game, or some giant, magnificent fire monster, you know, they'll melt your ice dragons in an instant. You know, like, I can set the entire world on fire. Like, what, what you got, your dinky little ice balls and ice spears? Pff, you're nothing, wizard. Sure, he's got other crystals that let him like read minds and stuff, but all his powers are basically from dragon crystals. He's taken over the years by betraying the dragons and killing them off, and then stealing their crystals of power for himself. Yeah. Sort of like Aragon. Well, I don't think that main villain in that movie is a wizard. Can't remember the king's name, though, either, so... Sort of the same deal, I guess. A very forgettable villain. Unfortunately, the main characters are also very forgettable. I mean, you got Princess Kira and Prince Dev, and they're very generic. I mean, Princess Kira likes to think out and plan her moves, you know. Likes to be a very methodical fighter, and that's pretty much all I can tell you about her. And Prince Dev's very impulsive. He usually likes to act and not think. And that's all I can really tell you about him. Honestly, I, I honestly don't remember anything else about these characters besides, you know, the introduced traits when it comes to combat. Because they like to flesh out the... They like to put a lot of emphasis on their action scenes, which maybe are technically impressive for the time. I'm not so sure anymore. But considering how ugly the film is, considering it's CGI, I just can't bring myself to get super invested in the combat anyway. Because I'll see the effects and I'm like, man, death by special effect... That would just have to suck. Especially a bad special effect. Ugh. Yeah, this film's definitely ugly, but like I said, it's just very... average. I'm sure someone that grew up with this film, you know, was into Mega Bloks and the movies, you know, that tied into their products, would, would have much higher opinions of this than I do. But the song who, um, doesn't have that connection, this is just, you know... A very forgettable f fantasy movie that involves dragons. As much as I love dragons, you know, I can't bring myself to care about these dragons. Till next time, then. See ya. Kill, dragon.